Hello guys, Mazaku here to give you a Heroes Reborn Episode 1 and 2 review. Now first off, I'm going to say that since it was like uh, one episode and the second episode put together, the analyst probably won't be as good as I want to be because it's two hours of watching it. Obviously my brain is not going to pick up every single point in detail, but mind you, once next week they start playing one episodes one by one, the whole hour, well technically 40 minutes. And all this will be a lot better and I'll be able to pinpoint a lot more stuff. First, um, I'm going to go ahead and introduce some of the characters, even though I'm not sure of all of their names. But the one I dislike is the whole Katana girl, the game bullshit. Completely made it unrealistic to me. I mean, I know they had powers and all. But, you know, to some extent, you could almost like imagine yourself doing shit like that. Like, oh, wait, if we could do this, we could do that. But the fucking video game? Really? I mean, at least the other shit could be from, like, natural shit, like, vroom, some galaxy shit. No, video game is something that a random guy fucking created. Hey, I could just somewhat go into this video game. I don't, I, I hate that shit. I don't like it. Fuck her dad. Like, it, it wasn't no background of them taking her father or some shit like that. And if so, why is she just sitting there? Just, I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't like the whole game thing at all. Um... It's this guy who gambles, but he cheats. I put, I, I like him. I'm not sure if his name was... I can't remember all of these names, but trust me. You guys know how I operate. If you're new here, this is how I operate. Give me, like, a couple of episodes, maybe six. But since this is Heroes and it's an hour, give me the second, the third, or maybe the fourth episode. I have all these names memorized, man. If you guys know the names, shit, just put them down below and put their power next to it so I could just sit there and study it and watching it would be a lot easier. But the guy gambling, he played this shit out the... The fuck, ooh, he played the shit out that go digging bitch, yo. I swear to, she tried to get at my nigga's money. She burned his fucking face, and that bitch still got set up. And now she's basically, she's just surprised just to get more money, cause him and the girl that tried to save her wasn't really trying to save her. Nope, just trapped the bitch. Here we go, and that's what the fuck she get trying to take a nigga money. That's what the fuck she get, but. I really like his character. I don't even know his fucking name. The whole Mexican wrestler, um, class hero. I thought it was nice, but it's kind of sad that he died. And the fact that he's Jose's father, which is the kid who can put his hand through shit. Obito Jr. and shit. He can just put his hand through shit. And he was trying to tell his son not to be a hero. Because maybe he probably knew his own fate, you know, before it even happened. And he didn't want his son to grow up in his footsteps and, you know, suffer the same fate as he sadly did in uh, the first episode. That was really sad, but I'm telling you, man, once his, his son's going to find out, man, his son's going to whoop these fuckers' ass. Because those two couple motherfuckers, the fucking, I think she's British or some shit like that. I don't know what that's what the accent sound like in the fucking boyfriend. These niggas got to go. They, they, they got to go, man. They got to go. I mean, I still have fucking Bennett. I don't see, I don't give a fuck about him, but... Apparently his memory was erased by the Haitian and he told the Haitian if he ever sees him tries to kill like try to kill him But you ever see me again trying to do this shit. Just kill me. The Haitian tries to pursue that But remember Bennett his memories erased. He's like yo, we was cool and they tried to kill me I killed you, but now I figure out that you told me to fucking you know Tell you to kill me and now the Haitians the Haitians gone so as far as canceling other people's powers out Nope, no more of that. Bennett Sloan, he got this fucking fuck boy with him who's looking for his sister. I'm telling you, man, this fat guy, he's a setup. He's a setup. He's going to set Bennett up. He's, he's going to get him killed. Clara is obviously not dead. I don't know why Bennett even thinks she's fucking dead. She can regenerate, dude. You think an explosion's going to kill her? This bitch had a fucking head cut off. Literally had a head cut off. Still came out just fine. Clara is just fine, but the base that they go to... I believe it's Bennett's old work workplace and three like floors and maybe four floors below that workplace because this shit was obviously deeply constructed and this shit is crazy. It's this room where a boy named Tommy was once kidnapped and sent to there. Now Tommy, yo, this yo, this nigga is like a Peter Petrelli Jr. dog. This nigga, yo, he is old fucking P. Like, yo, this nigga can send you anywhere he fucking wants as long as he thinks of it. Yo, oh my, yo, if this nigga think of a volcano, you fuck, 
If he thinks of a f fucking space, you fuck. He thinks of Mars, you fuck. He thinks of the sun, you fuck. He thinks of the moon, you fucked. This dude is like once I thought he could send him to the fucking room that he was kidnapped in. That's what that's what I thought at first. But once um I seen uh the couple break out of there, I'm like, okay, it's power shoes. But then when they go in the freaking ice cream shop and he's open the ice cream and he see the fucking flower there, I'm like, I bet that's what that nigga was thinking about before he fucking sent the flower there. And he says whatever he thinks about, bam. So Dude, over fucking power. Over fucking power. He doesn't even have to touch him. I think he has to be close to him though, because I do remember him uh, making a gun disappear. He didn't. He never touched the gun of uh, the British lady. But this couple, this is going. They're definitely going to die, die soon. I see the British lady dying soon. I see the uh, her boyfriend giving himself some powers in order to take revenge, kind of making him a fucking hypocrite because you know what happened to their kid. But you know what? Episode 1 was really good. Episode 2 is really good. I just really don't like the game, bitch. Why are these little fucking kids? Damn, dog. Move. Why the fuck they on my property? Fuck, man. But I don't like the gaming uh, fucking bullshit. I don't know how to do friend out so fast. That shit was so fast paced. And, I, and that was written badly. Now, you ever seen Hero Season 1? That writing was freaking perfect so which is why i'm disappointed of that this kind of writing now some of it's good look the way tommy set up though just keep going just keep going tommy's obviously has to be the main character he, he's a peter petrelli of this series who's the silent i don't know i hope they're not trying to portray it to be the stupid ass human couple well they're all human but stupid ass non-power couple they call them these motherfuckers uh that has powers evos it doesn't even sound right but I want to see Claire Bennett in future episodes. The episode was really good. Both episodes were really good. As I say, no analysts will be a lot better once they start airing one episode at a time. This was two episodes. Damn near two hours, man. It's a lot to comprehend the brain. And you know what? I liked it. I get the first episode, uh, 8 out of 10. Second episode, uh, 8.1 out of 10. Just based on the fact that Tommy is confirmed a fucking beast. I cannot wait to see more of these people. Now, it's this guy I don't like, the fat ass dude, that penny for your thoughts guy. He should not be stronger at all. I don't know, all i seen seeing this nigga do was do shit with fucking pennies. And he's making people disappear now? Or he probably just killed the man that chopped his ass up, the, uh, the bully stepfather. He probably just did that fucking to him. But, hey, episode wasn't bad to me. Wasn't bad to me. I'm trying to think of more freaking characters. The Nacho Libre guy. I'm just calling him Nacho Libre, you know. As I said, sad story. Jose. Jose is about to. You get him and you get Tommy together, dog. That's Obito. But to make it your Sharon guy. That's what you got there. But as. Oh, shit, man. I just can't wait. Clara, hope she, she shows up pretty soon. I don't give a fuck about Shiraz. I just don't give a fuck about him. He did so much bullshit in season 2, 3, and 4 of uh, the original heroes that I don't completely stop giving any fucks about him. Hopefully we get a formidable opponent, a formidable enemy in this series. I don't want no fucking non-power couple fucking everybody up. Because these motherfuckers, they the shoot. As soon as they see you, oh, powers... Pop, pop. They not, they not playing because they, they can't die. I understand that, but what you're doing, you becoming worse than the motherfucker people who killed them. Just fucking around killing people. They went after they broke out the little uh, uh Tommy's fucking childhood lair or some shit like that. They go up to people, pop, 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 pop. No questions asked. I don't like these fuckers, and I, I really hope, I really hope the female dies, because she's like. Basically bragging about how she's trigger happy. I'm like, you gonna get your shit blown the fuck up by one of these uh superhero motherfuckers, man. They about to fuck you up. And hopefully, they bring Micah back. Because Micah, he's probably... Oh, Actually, Micah might be the one texting um Tommy. Because at the end of the episode, he said somebody's been texting me shit. I'm like, I don't want it to be the fat guy. Cause fuck the fat guy. He's a bitch. I want it to be fucking Micah. They need some original hero characters back. To add some more depthness and deepness to the story, man. They, I, I appreciate the new cast, but you got to bring some of the old cast in. You just have to. Don't just have Bennett there by himself. Let's fuck him. I know Peter's probably dead. I, I believe uh, Nate, Nate is dead. 
Nathan Petrella. I believe he is dead. Is he dead? Or did they bring him back? Oh, shit. I'm already forgetting season four, but hopefully he is dead, because I didn't fucking like him. I'm sorry you can hear the fucking feedback. These kids fight in front of my fucking... Get the fuck away. Oh, my fucking God, yo. Fuck it, dog. I'm going to end this review now. I'll see y'all motherfuckers next week, man. This episode was great. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video. Mazaku. Out.